Okay, this is an epic game of uh, Doom Thunder Reloaded I played uh, just today, uh, where Morgan Cattle Company, with a smattering of some gadgets, faces off against the loaders. <coughs> so, uh, what we're seeing here is uh, I have a pretty decent start, three deeds in my hand. My deck is a mix of dudes and deeds, and uh, I'm using uh, gadgets instead of actions. To uh, have an advantage. So in this case, I start with a flamethrower, which will give me a decent start at the start of the game. And since I have an, an, an okay, uh, um, an okay uh, shootout structure, that should be enough to get me some decent hands. So I'm going to start with a railroad station because uh, with my ability to get it for free because uh, if he tries to come over and shoot Irving Irving can just run away through the railroad station go home uh, my opponent is just going to get some anti cheating I'm just going to play my reserves and see what he's going to do um, he starts moving through the town center I'm suspecting he's going toward the railroad station um, so I'm just going to build my flamethrower just in case he's going to come into my home and do anything nasty. And I'm going to give it for now to uh, James Getty who can use it for free. Uh, of course it won't help me if uh, Wendy's in the shootout I'm booted, but uh, I'm going to try and outmaneuver him. Uh, I'm thinking if I want to build the R&D rats uh, and if I want to uh, uh, use the money, I'm thinking better clear my hand and uh, maybe I can get to use it this turn. Uh, unfortunately I don't get it because Philip Swingford decides to come over and take it up uh, so to prevent me from using it. Maybe he wants to use it himself, I'm not sure. But I decide that uh, I can take Clementine over there and risk losing her because that would take over his influence as well. It's a trade I'm prepared to take. Um, so he decides to uh, move Quendi over to the railway station. Um, so I have to use the railway station. I'm thinking shortly if I want to move uh, my Clement and my Irving over there to my R&D runs. But I'm thinking if I pull a club, that's uh, two dudes lost. So it's too big a risk. So I'm just moving him home. And I'm going to see what I'm going to do with him next turn. I'm losing control of the railway station. But that's fine with me. Uh, he brings a new deed. Uh, I'm not prepared to let him gain money so early, so I'm going to go and contest it. Just to uh, delay his economy a little bit. Uh, he cannot do anything without giving him back my railroad station, so that's fine with me if he decides to. Uh, instead, he uh, decides to give bounty to Clementine, which uh, makes me suspect that there's a bounty hunter coming. So I'm going to use the RD runs now. And if I lose Clementine, so be it. If not, at least I got the money. And as I suspected, a bounty hunter is coming immediately. Um, I can't really do anything about that. So, uh, I'll, Clementine will have to uh, uh, shoot herself out of this. I pretty much consider her dead, but I guess it's a different, it's a, it's a change I, I can live with. Um, my deck runs uh, a bunch of nines, so I'm thinking, okay, I'm just going to see what it is when I reveal it. Uh, it looks good with a nine on the top, so maybe I'll manage to uh, tie him and get rid of his bounty hunter and get a bounty at least. So I'm just waiting for him to finish. Um, I'm still in a very good situation. Uh, so he reveals a 4 of a kind, which makes me think I don't have a chance, and yet I reveal a top deck, a sitting 5 of a kind off the top of my deck, which is amazing. I did not expect that at all. Uh, my deck is not that shooty. It doesn't uh, have a very good shooter structure. Uh, it just has a bunch of 9s, and in this time, in this case, I just got very, very lucky. Uh, at least it doesn't hurt him too much. I mean, he didn't trade the, he did give me a swing of three ghost rock, he lost two and gave me one. Um, and I didn't lose Clementa, which is big for me. Uh, so Clementa gets to run home and live another day.
I lose my R&D runs, but I'm fine with that. If he wants to use it, he has to take a risk. Uh, so I'm going to take the opportunity and the extra money to bring down uh, uh, the Charlie's place now that his uh, uh, Tommy is booted. I can get to get the upkeep from that. Uh, my next gun is not very promising. I got a little bit too many um, uh, goods. Um, and we both pull a cheating three of a kind in low ball. Um, so I get to win because my low, my cheating, my three of a kind was lower. I check that I have control of all my deeds and then do my upkeep. So I'm going to move immediately Gemeta into the saloon in case he has another bounty hunter in hand. He can play it yet, but he can use the R&D runs to get the money to do it. And that's exactly what he does. Unfortunately for him, the R&D runs explodes in his face as he pulls a base of clubs. And that's why a very shooty deck should be very careful if they're going to use the R&D runs. This means he has to use to lose his field swing for it as well. It drops him down to just two influence at the second turn. And I already have two control points in the game. This is pretty good for me. <coughs> uh, if I can just get a few more control points, I have it wrapped. Uh, I have another salute, so Clementine can easily play that for me, reducing its cost by two. And he has a pretty good production. He cannot even contest it. So Tommy goes over and takes Machali's place. That's fine. I was expecting that. I have uh, my bound my own bunny hunter was going to use to take out Swinford. Unfortunately, uh, Swinford managed to blow himself up. So my bounty hunter sees that does nothing. I was sort of thinking of maybe going contesting uh, one of the bits and uh, see if I can pull it off, but I don't feel that secure in my, my bullet values, my, my shooter structure. So I decided to just wait a little bit and see what he does. Um, again, all I need here is just a little bit more control. If I can get uh, two more deeds out, I'll, uh, or I'll have it uh, complete. So he used Travis Moon to go over and uh, scare uh, James Getty out. Um, James Getty can easily take him on. He can go up to five stud. Uh, but I'm afraid that uh, the, the exchange is not worth it at the moment. James Getty is very uh, too many influence, and if I manage to pull bad or he gets like uh, locked out, uh, he's going to bat the bullet. And if I win, I will kill a Travis. So I decided not to take any chances. The special hints he might have in a prepare or the sun realizing in his hand. And I just send him home. Uh, Stephen Wall comes in, which is unfortunate, he'll be able to contest all my deeds. Um, so I'm just passing, wait to see what he does. Uh, he can go and take control of all three of my uh, deeds, and I'm going to have no production next turn. I still pass, and here he makes a mistake, he decides to use him to make him wanted, to make uh, James Getty wanted, at which point I can just move James Getty, uh, Irving Patterson over to the town center and enter my saloon, and I get to get my production next turn, which is very good for me. I'm going to take that trade and uh, help uh, James Getty can take care of himself. He should have given the bounty, I think, to Irving Patterson, who is a much juicier target. Um, I'm thinking, I'm considering here if I want to uh, play any more cards from my hand, I decide to play the Buffalo Rifle to clear it a bit from my hand because I have too many uh, stuff stuck there. Um, and I, next time I can just trade it over and uh, James Gate can get the Buffalo Rifle which he likes. I'm going to discard one of my deeds uh, just to try to get more deeds. Fortunately, I get one. And some reserves for the future. Uh, might get a high card, which probably means I'm going to win this. Um, and I get another three of a card. I haven't managed to draw any cheating in my hand. Um, so I get my production. I'm going to start by trading the goods, just in case he plays a bounty hunter. Uh, this way, I... Uh, actually, if he plays a bounty hunter, it's not a good idea, because uh, I will have to fight me both. Um, but in general, yeah, I want to have it traded so I can use it later, uh, at, uh, whenever I want. I guess he uh, just wants to stall a bit, see what I'm going to do. 
Uh, I'm just going to play my dead dog tower with the uh, Clementine letter. Uh, but for now, I'm doing Steven Wilde, I'm thinking maybe he can play the deck of target so I don't have to risk, uh, I don't have to move Clementine over away. Um, he put James Getty, that doesn't matter so much for me since he got his Buffalo rifle already. He can still join whatever I want him to join. So, my concern here is do I want to play uh, the dead of target with uh, Clementine to make sure, or do I want to play with Irving? But, uh, when he has the railroad station, that's not a good option for me. Fortunately for me, he decides to move with the railroad station over to my saloon. And I'm considering now if I want to move Irving back home or if I want him to use, uh, to use Irving to bring my saloon. I'm uh, afraid that he's going to play another Stephen Wiles and going to kill him. Um, so I'm really struggling to think what I'm going to do. I decide in the end to use Irving to play the saloon, just so that he doesn't go home uh, uselessly booted. And I'm hoping he doesn't have Stephen Wiles in his hand. He tries to call out uh, Clementine, but he forgot that it's a saloon that I control. So, he misplayed it there, I guess. It's, uh, it might cost him a little bit. Unfortunately for me, he does have another Irving, another Stephen Wiles, and I'm suspect he's going to go and kill uh, Irving Patterson. So I'm going to bring Stephen Wiles over to uh, the town center, and uh, if he goes over to kill Stephen Wiles, at least I have a, a warm body to take the bullet and maybe try to tie him in hand drags. Um I'm not sure remembering exactly what he's going to do. Oh, he uh, tries to do a job. He get to use his uh, Wendy as well, which is useless uh, at my saloon. Uh, which is good for me. It means I don't have to lose my Irving Patterson. Uh, I'm just going to let it through. That's perfect for me. And uh, I'm going to use uh, uh, Stephen Wilde just to... Uh, keep control of the town for this turn. I'm going to bring out my chip dude. He can get the flamethrower next turn, and it's all good. Um, he has a lot of money now, unfortunately, uh, so he might use them to get another deed. I'm going to uh, bring my guy over there. He's not going to get the flamethrower yet, but he's going to deny his production, which is fine. Um, so I'm just waiting to see what he's going to uh, do next. That uh, Travis Moon is pretty useless hitting over there at the, uh, at the strike. But as long as he's not going to use him to take over my saloon, I'm fine with it. So I'm just going to take the pass. And you lose, uh, I'm going to leave Stephen Wiles useless in doing nothing. And I managed to uh, proceed too fast, so I win this uh, low ball anyway. And I got a joker in my hand, which I don't really like to see. And I don't have anything to uh, trade him in. Um, so, his Wendy is back home, which is uh, annoying. He can bring her wherever he needs. So, I plan to use my railroad station. Um, I want to use my railroad station before he does. Um, so, I'm now going to start building deeds and see what he's going to do. Um, I'm in a winning position, so he needs some more influence at the moment. So he's stalling for time once more. Uh, I'm going to keep building my deeds. I'm going to do it anyway. And just wait for him, for his reaction. Now he gets another Steven Wild, which is annoying because I cannot, it means I cannot use my railroad station again. Uh, I should have moved right now at the railroad station. This means that Steven Wild will have to boot there to use it. But now it's too late. If I move anybody to the railroad station, Steven Wild can also move there and deny it from me. And at the moment, I don't want to fight. I generally do not want to fight unless I uh, have a really good reason for it. So I'm just going to wait and see what he's doing. I've got my uh, my deeds up. So he does uh, use Travis Moon. He takes over my deed, my saloon, which does switch his bullets, which makes Travis Moon quite useful for that person, uh, reason. Um, I'm still going to wait and see what he does. I'm fine with him taking control of that deed, it's not a big deal, but I don't want to uh, boot Irving Patterson home without a reason. 
and I'd like to see what he's planning before I make any other moves. Or he got an Ali Hensman, which is really nice. He's going to allow him to start getting control points in the town center as long as he can protect here. Um, still, I'm waiting to see what his uh, action is going to be. I still control uh, four deeds that are going to give me a hefty good production next turn. So, and I still control his deeds, so he's going to have to do something about it. So now he goes over there. Uh, I'm going to move James Gate to the railroad station. I'm going to force him to move Stephen Waltz over there to take it over. Even if I boot James Getty home, he can still uh, take part in 20 fights. And if he boots the, uh, if he boots Stephen Waltz away, I can still go and try and kill uh, Ali Hensman. Um, so as expected, uh, Stephen Wiles moves over to my railroad station just to be denied me from using it. I'm going to move away. That was a mistake I did. I should have used it earlier. Then I could have booted uh, Irving Patterson to the... Uh, thing. So I'm just going to move uh, my guy and move him over to the saloon just so that I can take control of it. Uh, I'm guessing he doesn't want to boot Stephen Wiles to protect Ali, so he moves him back, but it was never my intention to call Ali out. I just wanted to take over my saloon. So now that he doesn't have the uh, railroad station anymore, I'm just going to boot uh, my Irving over to his, uh, his place and take it over. So I'm okay if he calls out uh, my mad scientist. It means that his uh, Stephen Wiles is booted. And uh, I can now uh, easily go and run around, take control of the various things. Um, so since I'm controlling the uh, strike, his, his uh, runs, it's fine. I don't need to do anything else. Uh, as long as I deny him production, I'm fine. Um, so I'm just going to pass here and see if he has anything to do. Here I got confused, I thought uh, I was the last one that moved. So uh, he reminds me that he called me out after I moved. So I'm just going to pass. And uh, fortunately he does have more influence in the game. That he was saving. Uh, which is not a, such a bad deal. Um, I'm just going to use uh, Clementine to get a control point. Here there's a bug in the... Uh, uh, in the, in the Union Casino, so I'm going to have to fix it at some point. So I get another free control point on Clementine, which is the hardest to kill. This is excellent. And since he's booted everybody over there, I'm just going to use my guy to deny him that one production. And um, maybe I can build something with Herbie next time before he calls him out. I see he's suspecting he's passing here because uh, he's expecting that I'm going to play Steven Wilde or something from my hand. And he doesn't want to leave his own Stephen Wiles uh, booted. So I'm going to take that opportunity. I'm just going to pass. Discard my Joker. And get an interesting hand. I was, I was hoping for more dudes. Because my control point is actually getting quite uh, high. But uh, my influence is not getting as high. Um, this time I, uh, I think I lost the low ball. Yep, I lost the low ball which allows him to get a good amount of money. Um, but I have three deeds in my hand um, that I can play. And uh, I'm not sure how to play this at the moment because uh, the more controllers I get, uh, especially now that he has Ali Hensman down, uh, it, the trigger it becomes for me to, uh, to sustain. Um, I was thinking maybe I should do something else, but it doesn't matter. He got the hard guns, he gets Steven Wiles once more into his hand. That Steven Wiles is costing him one ghost rocket turn, one to two ghost rocket turn uh, this time. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to hit him off at the pass and go over to my... Uh, uh, and take, use my railroad station early on before he has a chance to use it himself. So this time I'm not going to let him uh, run around and uh, do whatever he wants. He gets another control on Ali. I need to take care of her at some point, but I'm not sure how. I'm too afraid to go and fight because 
as I said, it's very easy for my deck to pull literally nothing, even with uh, three or four stud. Um, so I'm thinking if I want to play more control or just see what he's going to do. I think I'm in a pretty good situation, so I think I'm probably going to wait and see what he's planning before I make a move. Um, I'm slowly considering maybe I can use Irving Patterson to build that thing and then defend him. I've got like two hard helps and I've got a pretty good chance even if I, if it goes bad not to lose anyone. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm just so chicken. I just don't want to take any unnecessary risk at the moment because even losing uh, two, the two influence from Irving is going, can be devastating with Ali on the table. Um, so I decide to just, uh, in the end, I think I just pass and wait to see what his next move is going to be. Um, I did uh, remind him that Irving is over there, so he's just going to call him out next turn to make sure he cannot be used. Uh, but I was expecting that. Anyway, it doesn't make a difference. So I'm just going to pass. So he immediately calls out Irving. Irving goes home. Uh, I'm still going to pass. I got uh, quite a good production. All I need is to make money, find my uh, gadgets, and then I can uh, start uh, giving him some uh, casualties that he cannot avoid. So he's making my guy wanted, which uh, makes me certain there's a uh, there's something nasty my way coming. Uh, so I'm just not going to take it twice again. My influence is really precious at the moment. I'm just going to put him home where he has a lot of protection. And wait to see what he's going to do. Next turn I can give him the flamethrower anyway. So it's not a horrible move. And uh, that one production, I mean, the, that I'm costing him is not a big deal. So when he moves to the, uh, to the thing, moves to, moves to my place, I'm going to take the opportunity to move to James Getty now that he doesn't have anybody to block him. Uh, which is, I suspect, what his plan was all along. So now that James Getty is uh, isolated, he brings down the uh, bounty hunter, and I have to fight. Uh, fortunately, unfortunately for him, he didn't expect that uh, there's uh, two very good citizens in the uh, town hall that uh, decide to come in and help fight the innocent uh, James Getty from these corrupt low dogs. Uh, so two higher gunslingers come into play and uh, James Getty now has some pretty good support. This gives me a hand rank a hand size of nine for my shootout hand. And I don't even need uh, anything but I just need to not pull two pairs. Um, so I pull a legal four of a kind immediately. I don't uh, need to even do anything. Uh, of course I use my last joker, um, but uh, that's pretty good. Um, it means that even if he pulls a five of a kind, at worst I'm going to lose a gunsling and then James get get run away. So that's perfect for me. And uh, of course I don't want to cheat against them because even the bottom dealing is going to spell my doom. And I pull a four of a kind, he only has a full house, which is, uh, I've got one rank higher than him. Um, which means he's going to lose his gunslinger. Now at this point he does mistake, I think he should have run. I have a good advantage, but I think he got greedy, he wanted to take down uh, James Getty. Maybe uh, he's holding a coach whip and hoping I'm going to cheat. But James Getty is just going home. I uh, don't go to take any risks again. Uh, I got two gunslingers left over, they go to take care of Wendy probably. And here I can sit as much as I want because the stakes are very low for me. Uh, unfortunately I don't even get a chance to cheat, I just got uh, uh, two wimpy pairs, three wimpy pairs. I cannot change anything, I'm seeing if I can build a straight, no, nope, I'm down one. So I'm just going to go for the two pairs and, and uh, lose the shootout. Unfortunately for him he also doesn't pull anything or he just maybe pulls a legal two pairs and was hoping for a bottom dealing. So we tie, and he, he loses Wendy, I get another bounty, and that went amazingly well for me. This, uh, I lost nobody, he lost Wendy and two Ghostrock. No, I mean I lost two Ghostrock as well, 
Uh, but overall, this was amazing, really. Well, went amazing well for me. I took care of a very bad thorn in my side. I took care of uh, one influence. Um, now I don't even have to wait anymore. I can start building my deeds. I was thinking to use uh, Clementine to get some more control, but there's no point to do that and not just build another saloon instead. So I'm just going to use Clementine. I'm going to build another saloon. She's safe there anyway. And he's Stephen Wallace is uselessly can only take one of my stuff away. Uh, quite a lot of thought. He's not losing yet, but it's getting close. He has to be careful not to leave uh, all hands but too undefended because uh, my guy can uh, can just waltz in and shoot here with a flamethrower. So, he's passing, I'm building my other deed, uh, and that's fine with me, I'm just going to pass as well. He doesn't want to uh, take Steven Wiles away and uh, move him somewhere where he's not useful. Um, so I win low ball, I think, I, I think I win low ball, um, that's fine once more. Uh, I could use my uh, uh, town council to... Uh, get some uh, more cheaper deeds if I had any, but I only got the one, which is not very useful. Um, so I have a good amount of influence, I think I can close the game this turn. So I'm just going to put my ESP helmet down and then trade it over to my guy, this means he cannot do anything to him anymore and uh, he cannot sign his eyes or anything and I will have a really decent shooter. And I'm planning basically to see what he has in his hand and act accordingly. So I prepare the telepathy helmet and everything just in case he bounty hunters me. Uh, he instead uses to uh, use his guy to take over and try to kill Wendy. I think uh, it's a bit of a mistake. I mean, the guy is just a one draw, but he's uh, I guess he's desperate at the moment. So I got some hard help. I can use and that will just uh, give me the advantage I need all I need is to tie him, I don't even need to defeat him um, so I got uh, not. I don't have a chance to not cheat this time so I'm just going to cheat like a monkey because even if he post whips uh, Wendy uh, if he post whips Clementine I'm going to kill his 3 influence and that's fine with me he draws a cheating flash, he can't even coach whip uh, who he wants, and I got a cheating full of a, four of a kind, a full house. At which point he loses his uh, all his money, his three influence, and he doesn't really have an option anymore in the game. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, pretty epic match. Uh, there was a ton of maneuvering, and I thought I hope you saw some uh, interesting plays for Morgan that doesn't rely on pistol whips and more on gadgets. Um, didn't, we didn't really see the gadgets in uh, action so much, um, but I think the game was interesting. So until next time.